everybody what is up is very windy out here maybe you can hear just a little bit of that wind but it's pretty windy out here i came out i'm gonna see if i can do a little night fishing underneath one of these lights here and see if i can snag some fish out here on the galveston area so I'll see if i can hook up this evening but thanks for coming back throw this rattle trap on got this solid six inshore rod h2o express this is a really a live bait rod but it's uh, light enough you know tossing and tossing so i'm gonna toss a few times solid graphite blank so it's supposed to be pretty much indestructible so I'd like to see if I uh, get a big fish on it tonight and see how indestructible <laughs> it can be. It'd be awesome to test that out. So what I'm gonna do is just let it fall to the bottom and then swim it and then pause, let it sink a little bit, swim it, pause, let it sink. Cause this, this rattle trap should do a good job of making enough noise uh, let the fish know to come here. Uh, let's see. You better put that tight, tighten the line up. That's red. Tighten it up. Tighten that drag up. I got it a little bit. Hold on, hold on, here, slow down. Let me get this. I'm gonna get this on film. Rope's getting tied down here. All the invites are all the time. Right on. Oh my god. Right on. That's my first fish on a rattle trap. Okay. Let's catch right here, Rube. Let me turn this light off. My boy Ruben right here. Got a nice red fish. I'm his land guy. There you go. You won't believe me. There it is. Look at that, boys. Nice. And here's the picture day. Now we gotta do the video of the release. That Ready. is a beautiful Kimper. fish, huh? 22. I told 20? you. Okay, three. There we go. And he's going for the release. There he Dude, goes. Was that badass or what? That was fun, man. Love was that H2 Express in short. Man, that rod felt good too. Didn't it? Man, yeah, I like this rod. This so is. Tighten that drag up out here. I know, man. I like to let him run a little bit, you know? Gotta give him a little show. There you go. Dang. Specky. I think I'll hold his ass. Yeah, looks like it. Nope. No, nope. you got him. There you go. That's all I expect. bait in the light sorry just look at the size of it it's a nice bait Billy Ray just hooked up he was doing a countdown he actually did three two one but I wasn't rolling so I missed that one that's nice though got the lose on Fish stick rod, show them how old it is. 
1922. <laughs> a little before 11 p.m. I called the time too. Yeah. surface yet no that's a boss though there it goes there it goes That's a nice fish. <laughs> That's a pretty fish. What a beautiful, look at that. That's beautiful. Look at, oh my god. Look at them spots. Look. Wow. It looks all like them black. Look. Look at all those. Man, look at that. Look. Like a leopard. Look at all them fucking spots, man. Dang. That much a leopard. There's a leopard. Look at all the spots on this. Look. Drum spots. Got that bait in there? Mm hmm. Oh, I had him in the jawbone. We're going nowhere. Release. Look at the look at the freaking spots. Look all the way to here. Yeah, no man, that's cool. God, I've never gotten on that many spots on it. Look at that. Pretty fish. It's a trip. Look at them. There's spots all over. How big you think that is? Huh? Probably. That's 28 inches. Oh, he took off. He's ready. Oh, he took off. He's ready. Hey everybody, well thanks for watching, you know this is going to wrap it up, I had a really good time out there fishing at my buddy Billy Ray's house, the Saltwater Soul, and it was just a really quick little night trip, uh, I probably spent maybe three hours out there fishing, and I ended up catching the one nice red, he ended up with a couple nice fish too, but I just want to explain to you what I was using, and how you fish this, how we were fishing this lure, now this is a rattle trap, you can see this is the one I was using that night, and it was just getting hammered out there. But if, as you can hear, mic's right there. As you can hear, it puts off so much vibration. And there's actually a lot of different, or several different sizes of rider traps that you can get. And I picked up, I picked up a few up uh, the other day when I was at Academy. So I will cut a few different sizes of rattle trap and what you basically do is or what we were basically doing is we we're just giving a nice little count and letting this rattle trap fall and sink to the bottom and then when it would get close to the bottom or hit the bottom then we'll just straight retrieve it. I mean it just puts off so much sound kind of letting alerting the fish in the area that there is something going on over here. There's a rattle going on over here and the vibration it puts off when you're swimming it. And sometimes I will swim it and then pause for a few seconds, letting it back fall back down again. Then swim it again and then pause for a few seconds to let it fall back down again. And then so on and so forth. So that is a great technique my buddy Billy Ray introduced me to. And not only did I fish it that night, 
But I also went out a couple nights later and I fished that again. So have another video coming up of me back out there doing some night fishing. So if you like this video, then hopefully you'll watch that one as well. And I was also using this H2 Express Inshore Solid 6 7 foot medium rod. I was pair I'm pairing it up with a Stratic spinning reel and these... Now it has a it has a nice full core candle. I typically don't use full handles, but it has a, it feels really good in the hand. I like the curvature on it. Now these rods are designed and were designed by uh, Academy H two O Express for being a fray, fresh or dead bait rod. Now they're light enough to throw. As you saw, I was using it and fishing with it. Um, if I was getting if I was gonna pick one up. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I was picking one up to primarily use with the lure, then I would definitely invest and in looking to pair it up with a very light reel. So it won't be too, too heavy for you. Now, this rod here isn't heavy at all. Not, not to me, at least. Solid core means what? It means it's not going to break, right? So hopefully in that aspect, I'm be able to test it pretty good and pretty strong for you guys, pretty well for you guys, and be able to put it on some really nice thick fish. But hey, thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Hopefully next time you catch me hooking up.